This week's episode of Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez is brought to you by H&M Landing has been taking people fishing for over 40 years. From local half-day trips to multi-day offshore tuna trips, H&M Landing is located in San Diego, California. Mustad Fishing Hooks, making fishing hooks for over 100 years. Turner's Outdoorsman, fishing and hunting supply needs. Tough Coat, non-skip coating for fishing vessels and boat docks and by viewers like you. This week on Sport Fishing, we're fishing aboard the Indian, left out of Redondo Beach early this morning. We travel over Catalina Island. That's where we are right now at the Farnsworth. And it's an area that's restricted in fishing, but it's legal to fish here just for pelagics. And that's what we're fishing for, yellowtail, fish that migrate through this area, don't live here all the time. So hopefully in today's episode, we'll be catching yellowtail. Then later on, we're gonna go close to the island, Look for some calico bass, maybe even a white sea bass or two. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fish is like. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Faster, faster, he might be coming at you. Yeah, real, real, faster, faster, faster. Oh, 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 His head turned. Good job. Okay, now he wants the corner again. Okay, he's coming back around the corner. Yeah. Step back, step back, let him in the corner. Let him through. Right up. One more. Oh, one more. There we go. Now that is a Farnsworth yellow right there. Good job, bud. Nice specimen right there. So I'll get this guy tagged up and we'll... Just hooked another fish. My first fish, fish took me down the reef and busted me off. Fishing the same outfit, 60 pound spectra, 30 pound monofilament, with 30 pound fluoro on top. 
Oh, he's got his head shaking. All right, coming down, guys. Coming through. Skipper is telling everybody you should try to use 40 if you can. And I can see why. I only got 30 on. I can't pull as hard as I'd like to. Plus, we got seals around here, so. Trying to get them up. Keep them off the bottom. But he's a nice fish. Oh, it's off. That's what happens. Sometimes you do as hard as you can, work as hard as you can. Still lose them, I lose them, so it's part of fishing. All right, they had another bite right there too. Let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Indian, go to the tackle box, give you a good look at the gear we're using for today's trip. This week in the tackle box, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today at Catalina Island, fishing aboard the Indian, and not only did we go to Catalina Island, but we went all the way to the back end around Farnsworth. And remember, Farnsworth is an area that's closed for bottom fishing, but pelagics like yellowtail, fish that you know migrate, you can fish for them there. So that's what we did. We fished for the yellowtail there, and um, it was really good fishing. Now, normally we'd be happy with those smaller yellowtails, those seven to 10 pounders. But on this trip, we had those but we also had some really nice big fish, fish in the 20 and 30 pound class. And the other thing we had going for us is we had big bait. Because those big baits and those big yellowtail, you really had to fish heavier gear. The skipper said nothing lighter than 30, really wanted us to fish the 40, and some of the guys on the boat today are fishing even 50 pound test line. Those bigger yellows around Farnsworth and that heavy structure, lots of coral there, lots of rocks, you really need that heavier line. Now, when you're targeting those big yellows, don't be afraid to use a big hook. So what I recommend is something like this, a 9174 is by Mustad. This is the bronze model and also the black nickel. The black nickel is a new look for Mustad. Um, it's been around for a few years, but really coming out strong this year. And these black nickel hooks work out really nice. Now, the one thing about this hook, it's a forged hook. But you look at the size of 5.0, you think, man, that's a huge hook. It is a big hook, but you're talking about big fish. 20, 30 pound fish using 30 and 40 pound, maybe 50 pound test line, that's really not a big hook. And as you're gonna see in today's episode, we get those big yellows using these big hooks. Another thing too is if you're not familiar with how to tie a perfection loop knot, I really recommend you pick up some hooks that have rings on them and Mustad has uh, different models, circle hooks, J hooks like that. And this is what I mean by a ring hook. Just has a little ring in it there. That way your hook can move freely when you attach a line to the ring and your bait's gonna look more lifelike. Using a ringer hook or tying a perfection loop knot, a loop knot when you put on your hook will help you catch more fish. So remember when you're fishing these big yellow tails and heavy structure like we did today at Farnsworth, don't be afraid to use the big hooks and the heavy line. I know 40 and 50 pounds sounds like really heavy line, but when you're fishing this deep water structure, it's not that heavy. And you'll be thankful and grateful you got that heavier line on when you hook that 30 pound yellow. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Just keep reeling it. If he wants to come in, keep reeling it. Step right up to that rail. Yeah, that is hot. <laughs> that was, that did look very clean. But no, you, you did everything right, you got it. Keep one, he owned his ass. Got him? Yeah, you got him. Go ahead, throw in a free spool. There you go. Just Woo. keep pulled off the gap, but Holy I think shit. we are in good shape there. Oh, Another damn. nice yellowtail on the Indian. That one yeah, I, I, I can tell. Beat my butt. <laughs> yeah. He, he did not want to go easily. Oh, dang. That's another beautiful yellow tail. <sighs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate You're welcome. That. <laughs> I kicked my butt. <laughs> well, we picked away here. We got a few yellow tail, not that many, about a half dozen of them. But Skipper says this really isn't the spot he wants to fish for yellow tail today. There's another spot on the west end of the island. So we're gonna take a break here. We're gonna go close to the island and go fish for some calico bass. So we're gonna take a break right now. When we return, we'll be really close to the island using live bait and artificials, trying to catch some calico bass, maybe even another yellowtail or two. All right, talk to you soon. Hey. 
<laughs> All right, so we just pulled up on a um, spot here on the island, right up against, right up against the coast here, and um, we started we just started throwing some chum, got some ground out, ground up um, mackerel and squid going over the side here, and uh, as you can see, we're already getting a few fish. Hopefully, in the next half hour, we'll start to heat up on the bass. Really good bass fishing at times here, right up against the white water. that bucktail letting it fall down and getting bit there we go just letting that bucktail fall along the edge of the rocks there I got squid on there just letting it fall and fish are coming up pretty good calico bass spot right here bunch of fish here comes color right here little calico again just using a b52 bucktail with a strip of squid Casting it out there, let him fall. There's some bigger fish coming in now. The guys are using uh, live mackerel and live sardines. But uh, I'm gonna stick with the bucktail for a little bit more. See so if you can get one. All right, let's take a little break from the action and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish that we're catching today here aboard the Indian at Catalina Island. This week in the galley, we're in Whittier, California, at Portsmouth restaurant up here in Old Town Whittier, and saying next to me is Chef Julio. Hey, Chef, thanks for having us out. So what do you have in store for us today? So, uh, today we got a European sea bass. Uh, we're gonna grill it. That's what we do it here. We actually do it two ways. We either pan fry it or grill it. Give the patron the option to grill or fry. And that's a fish that you normally would serve here? Yes, uh, this is the fish we're serving at this time right now. Cool. And it's a white kind of meat fish, so if you have a halibut or if you have a rockfish, you probably do the same too. Yeah, I've done it with a uh, red snapper, so cool. All right, so how do we get started? Basically, I, I spray this pan spray on there so it won't stick onto the yeah. there. Salt. A little black pepper. And onto the grill. Make sure your grill is clean and really hot every time you grill any fish. My tip for uh, grilling the fish is basically having a grilled, uh, hot grill, clean grill, and when you actually pick the fish up, make sure that it is uh, not dragged and just picked up and set down because once you drag the fish, is you're gonna tear the skin off. Pick the fish up and flip it over. So now our fish is grilled on both sides. I pick it up, I set it on the plate. As you can see, it is grilled. And then I pop it into the oven at 500 degrees, three minutes. So Julio, if I was doing this in the backyard in the barbecue, what, what would I do differently? Well, in the backyard barbecue, most people have a barbecue with the lid on it or hood on it, so you can shut it and open it. I would recommend that you would uh, put your uh, fish Somewhere where the, the heat's not too high and then off the actual charcoal onto the rack, close the lid and let it sit in there and finish off in there. And one of the things we do here is we fry our broccoli. It's a quick uh, flash fry. Next thing I do is uh, we have this Soy vinaigrette that we make here, it's basically soy sauce and rice vinegar with shallots and lime. Really Asian thing. Toss it in there. Going into the oven, bringing out the fish. As you can see, it's grilled, it's baked, it's 
done, it's finished, ready to go. When it comes down to garnish, what I do is get my fried broccoli and uh, soy vin. I garnish with it, put it all around the fish. Sauce on top. Some sweet chili. And uh, my crab garnish. Radishes. This looks really good, Julio. So this is a European sea bass. Yes. And again, you said you could do this with halibut, red snapper, any of that lighter type of fish. You could do it any of those fishes. Cool. Well, I gotta take a little piece of this. Oh, look how white that meat is. A little bit of your sauce. That's really delicious. And I love the tip you gave us about how to do this on your barbecue at home, to lower the heat, put it in the tray, treat that like your oven, yes. and then we can fully cook the fish. Yes. That's good. Thanks a lot, Julio. It's great being here with you. And we're at Portsmouth here in Whittier, California, and just a delicious dish. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Got him up. Good biting, yeah. Nice catch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice bass. 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 Nice Look at that, it's circle top. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 14. It's going Good in one. the grill tonight. So in the past you see me catch calicos, lots of different techniques. Live bait, dead bait, bucktails, metal jigs. This is just another style of bait. This is called a swim bait. This particular one's made by a company called Worm King. Lots of different brands out there you can try. We can go ahead and try this one out right now. Throw it right in next to the island, let it sink a little bit, and then wind it slowly back in. Just switched over to a swim bait because the uh, fish have been biting the live baits. Uh, I was hoping to get a little bit quality, bigger quality than I was getting on the bucktail, but that's eh, just another average sized fish. Here's a little worm king. And there's a little bass. Calico bass live in a wide range of area, as far north as Washington State and down to the middle of Baja, Mexico, but it's quite rare to catch them north of Point Conception. Calicos can grow up to 14 pounds, and they eat a variety of baits from anchovies, sardines, squid, octopus, even crabs and shrimps. Calico bass is one of the most important recreational fish in Southern California. Ah, we got him out. I just want to know what he is. <laughs> Oh, look at that. What is it? It's a fish with it in there. I hope so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go on, uh, put your rod down. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice calico bass. Let me have your rod. I need two down. There you go. Oh, yeah. He's hiding in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's barely got it hooked. He's barely got it hooked. Right there. There he got Yeah, Tony. Do you have that? Right there, Tony. Oh, yeah. That is a slug. Oh, man, this is like a hit. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, you look good. Woo! That's, that's, there you go, Chief. Wow. Wow. 
That's a good oh, one. Right there. <laughs> this is Victor, one of our regulars. He's out fishing with us today aboard the Indian. Yeah. And our captain Dave put us on this spot. What'd you catch this on? Squid. Squid? Yeah. Piece of squid and uh, leadhead? Yes. All right, cool. Yeah. It's a big bass, over nine pounds. We're gonna go ahead and release it right now. Here we go. Another small little one going back in. We had a great time fishing over at Catalina Island aboard the Indian with Captain David and his crew. We caught lots of calico bass, some rockfish, and a bunch of yellowtail too. Well, next week we'll be back with Captain David and his crew, back aboard the Indian, fishing at Catalina Island again, catching a lot more yellowtail and some bigger ones too. So don't miss next week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. This week's episode of Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez is brought to you by H&M Landing has been taking people fishing for over 40 years. From local half-day trips to multi-day offshore tuna trips, H&M Landing is located in San Diego, California. Mustad Fishing Hooks, making fishing hooks for over 100 years. Turner's Outdoorsman, fishing and hunting supply needs. Tough Coat, non-skip coating for fishing vessels and boat docks and by viewers like you.